Welcome. I'm Ali Shok from Gulf News. Today we have an exclusive interview, interview with uh, inside the General Directorate of Residency and Foreign Affairs in Dubai. Uh, this exclusive interview for all the uh, Gulf News readers who've been sending a lot of uh, questions and inquiries about uh, the new uh, decisions and orders related to the visa issue uh, inside the country, especially after the outbreak of uh, COVID-19 pandemic. I mean, you can see guys that uh, we are here just like adhering the social distancing and uh, making the precautionary measures by wearing uh, the gloves and masks. So with me uh, today, uh, Major Salim Bin Ali, he is a dire uh, director of Amr Client Happiness uh, Center at GDRFA Dubai and he will be more than welcome to answer all your inquiries, all your questions related to the visa issues. Uh, so, hi, Major Salem. How are hi. you? Hi, Ali. Welcome back. <laughs> yes, <laughs> welcome back. I mean, this time interview, it's a kind of different because it's both of us wearing masks and gloves. <laughs> I mean, it's a kind of weird, strange, but that's it's, how used to, that's it how it should be. It is the new life. Yes. So it's a lifestyle. Yes, so this are, is the we new are used to. Yeah, yes, we are used to. Yes, and I think almost everyone in the world is yeah. used to. Yes, so it's better for us and for them, of course. <laughs> yes. So, first of all, uh, recently, just like before, one week, uh, the government sector returned back to normal. Uh, all most of the employees are returning back to their offices. So in GDRFA Dubai, it's 50% of the capacity of employees return back to provide the services to customers as usual. So can you tell us about uh, when you guys return back and uh, is there any advices that you give to the clients? Uh, thank you, Ali. Uh, at the beginning, on, on behalf of uh, Major General Mohammed Ahmed al Murray, uh, actually, uh, I would like to thank you people I mean, as a Gulf News and, of course, as a Mr. Ali and your colleague, of course, from social media. Thank you. Um, for, like, putting the client on a right way, answering all these questions. We know that a lot of people are uh, most probably, like, have a lot of questions or they are confused about the orders that are coming from, from the government. So I would like to thank you. I would like to thank Gulf News and... As you said, Mr. Ali, uh, today we are like on a second week of go going back to, to the normal life. Yep. Uh, I can say the first message that I want to just give everyone or give the, I mean, uh, uh, the, the people who are watching us today in Gulf News is GDRFA is open. 100% I can say, 50% of the, of, the, of the staff, but 100% we are open. Either if you can check our services, our 100% electronics or e-services, yep. so you don't have to visit us, unless if we ask you to visit. So what I mean, this is a very important message, I need everyone to just listen to it. Today, we are welcoming everyone in GDRFA. But because of what's happening in the world, because of COVID-19, we need people just to be aware that because of their health and our staff health, of course, yes. we need people to use our e-services, use our armor centers to just submit their applications and finish their services. But if we need you as a client, we have a lot of ways to send you a message or you receive an email that tells you, please visit GDRFA main branch or our center mm -hmm. to complete such documents that we need or such, such information okay. that we need. So my advice for everyone is to not visit unless we ask them. Mm -hmm. I know a lot of people say, um, um, I, I, I applied for a visa or renew and it takes long time. Uh, today we, are, we can hear or you people hear I apply for uh, information update, and it takes a lot of time, or long time, and I didn't get back. No one get, me, get back to me. Yeah, this is one of the questions that readers always ask. Exactly. Yeah. So, so the first thing is, uh, we return to the old system, which is the fingerprint and armor center, okay. so people from today. 
So people, they don't need to update through uh, the portal. They can just only provide their information or updated pro information to our center and they will, it will be updated in our center. So updated by phone? Today in Amr Center. Okay. Previously, why? Just I want to explain what is what yeah. is the update information update. Yes. It's a matter. Uh, we had a system because of we were working at home. Uh, we call it an you know the OTP that we are receiving it from the bank or we can you, you can receive an OTP. It's a one-time message or yes. one-time password. Mm -hmm. So usually people they don't have their right mobile number at the system. Okay. So what happens? The message gone to I don't know. I mean, the number that is in our system. Oh, so they are updating it. But today, we return back to the old system, which is the normal fingerprint system, with the, I mean, safety procedures are there. And at the same time, for the companies, we are working on, I mean, the launch will be in a few days coming. Okay. We are working on uh, the, uh, what they call it, uh, the virtual uh, RS token. Previously, you have an RS token. Today, it will be in your mobile. Virtual. Yes. Okay. So most probably, I mean, of course, this this kind of service will uh, the load will be uh, like uh, less than before, but we need to make sure that we are not asking you to come unless we w we need an information from you. Um, so this is my first message, and maybe I took a long time on no, it, but okay. it's very important to know that, please. Uh, avoid visiting because of your health and our health and we don't want our centers to be stuck with the client that's why okay so uh, one of one of the major uh, questions that it's always we receive and i think you guys also have been receiving mm. uh, it's for the people who their residency or visa were expired after march 2020 Okay. The government said that it will be extended till the end of the year. Auto extend. Yeah. Yes. So can you just like clarify this uh, issue to the very, people? very good question, Mr. Ali. Uh, the thing is, uh, as everyone knows, the government just extend all kind of visas, which expired after first of March. So uh, they are valid till twenty first of December, two thousand twenty. Uh, the question is the important question is. If I need to renew my residence, mm -hmm. can I do it? Yes, you can. Okay. You can do, just you can apply for a renewal, uh, I mean, form. Yes. And uh, it's without, for the renewal, it's without medical. So there will be no medical? No medical. For renewal? Yeah. Yes. These days. Just okay. only you will pay the fees of the ID, MRS ID, and the normal uh, renewal okay. fee. Okay. But if people who are traveling for mm -hmm. any reason, Okay, they, they want to leave the country and they will say that I'm talking about now Dubai airports will get back soon. Yes. Okay, so I'm traveling and I'm getting back. Systemically, your visa is renewed, mm -hmm. but I cannot make sure that when you are coming back, the airline will allow you to travel because the residence, is, which is a stick on your passport, passport, it's expired. Okay. So if you are planning to travel, the advice is to renew the visa. If you are in the country, you don't have to do it. Okay, so yeah. it's better to renew it. But if you like, it's fine. You can so, renew it. So for residents who are inside the country and their visa expired, it's automatically renewed till the, till yes, the end of the year? Yes, all of them. Is there any way that they can check about this? Yes, they can call the call center, but usually it is uh, okay. renewed, 100%. Okay. Yeah. So uh, what about the family? sponsored uh, resident visa uh, those were issued in march and then cancelled before their entry um, again it's a very good question so yes. if the people who are traveling the, there is no any fines on it mm -hmm. but let us say the person will have a new visa to apply okay or a new company to go to mm -hmm. uh, usually they will not pay any fine for that okay. till, I mean, till, till the date, I mean, till today. I'm talking about if there is any order, of course, you people will mention that or you'll announce it. But till the day, there is no any fine on it. No fine. Hmm. So uh, many people also being confused between the, the extension of uh, permits 
uh, between residency and visitors. So many people, let's say the visitors or the people who came on tourist visa to the UAE and uh, their visas expired after 1st of March. It's extended till the end of the year. So it's also it's extended. Same. It's the same, both. Okay, yeah. because it's people talking, what, what if I'm a resident? Mm. So if you're a resident, your visa extended. If you're a tourist or came on visit visa, and your visa expired after March 1st, it's also automatically extended until end of the year, right? Yes. Okay, uh, so now uh, what about the waiver? I mean, the amnesty that been uh, recently they've been in order by the UAE government to waive all uh, the fines. Yes. on people who are staying illegally in the country before March 1st. Can you just like highlight this point? Um, as, as announced, I mean, uh, His Highness Sheikh Khalifa, uh, just uh, the people who are uh, like overstay before the 1st of March, they are all under this amnesty mm -hmm. and they can leave the country without any procedure. Okay. Just, this is, this is just to make it clear. Okay. So if you are traveling, just only you can book a ticket okay. and go to the airport. And I think there is a deadline. I think there is a three months deadline. Yes, it's okay. three months starting from uh, 1st of uh, March okay. till 1st of August. Okay. Uh, one of the questions, I mean, this like, again, we have a reader who's saying, uh, how about my visa will be finished on October? Is it will be automatic renewal or I need to renew it? So it's a similar question. Next October? Uh, finish, yeah, expire on October, this October. So uh, if it's finished on October, it will be extended this October. This October, 2020. yes. 2020. So it will be extended till yes. uh, end of the year? As, as of today, just we have to make sure. Uh, as of today, yeah. okay, any visa will be expired after 1st of March. Yes. It's extended till the end of the year. Okay, what about, uh, the, uh, let's say, we, we know there is a list of countries that they can get visa on arrival. It's yes. like a British passport holder. Yeah. So he still can have this if they come to the UAE? Yes. To get the if visa on is, arrival? If, if the airports are open, mm. and uh, I mean, the normal passengers uh, are, I mean, allowed to come to the country. Yeah. So the rule will be the same. So exactly. It's the, yeah. So it's the same. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I think we have uh, more questions. Okay. Yeah. So I mean, my colleague Falah, she will present of also course, the yeah. questions. She's, She's helping me with that. So there are a bunch of questions that our readers have asked. Um, most of them you have answered. A lot of people have a question about the holding of visas to, you know, where they hold it in process and then they have to uh, hmm. come back to them. Can you okay. just explain that process a little bit? Yes. Um, this process or this service were like stopped before, I mean, before last week as, as we, we were working uh, from home. But since last week, we are back again for this service. They can visit, I mean, the out sections. It's not the head office. The head office, there is no any services being provided, only in Al Tawar Center, uh, Manara Center, and um, uh, Dubai Airport Free Zone. So these, th these three centers are, the centers will provide two services, um, uh, what they call it, uh, holding the family visa because of the sponsor is canceling. And the other one is to have uh, what they call it, uh, to remove the absconding uh, letter that you, to, to apply to uh, just take, take off the, I mean, uh, the absconding in the system. Another question is, uh, someone is saying that they have applied for their wife and children's uh, visit visa way prior to when the cancellation started. Mm -hmm. They're saying, is that still, does it stand canceled or does it stand valid? And how would we uh, check that status? Yeah, uh, till now, if the visa has expired on the system, I mean, on, on the visa, on the printout, it shows that it's expired already, the two months before entering the country. So it's expired, but we are studying a way and we are, get, we are waiting for the order to have like uh, a solution to those visas. 
So till now we didn't get any order of it, but we are uh, we have many scenarios. So at before opening those, I mean uh, the uh, the airports back to the people to the passenger. Of course, we will announce what they should do. If the visa is valid, so they can use it. If it's expired, of course, we will tell them exactly what to do. Another one is people are asking if the issuance of new visas has started or when is it predicted to start? Do you have any information on that? Not yet, not yet. But inside country visas are okay and they can, I mean, uh, they can apply whenever they want inside country visa. So it's changing jobs or they are on a visa, on a visit visa, and they want to change on to the residence, so they can do it. So even if you have, uh, let's say, uh, sorry for the interruption, so even if uh, there is a resident in Abu Dhabi and he found a job in yes, Dubai, yes, yes, yes. so he can apply. So it's no, different, no. between yes. different emirates? Okay. No problem. Yeah. No. Um, another question that some people have, like you said, they have uh, the fines have been waived. Yes. Some people uh, have a slight confusion whether that should be applied or declared somewhere, or is that an automatic no. procedure? No, automatic to travel. Okay. It's not to change status. Mm. It's to travel. Right. So the amnesty is only to travel the country. But if you need to change the status or you need you have a new job, you have to go to the normal procedure. Yeah. Uh, a person has a question about their parents who are uh, older in their 70s and 60s. Like you said, the medical examination is not required at the moment. Yeah. But they're asking um, whether an, a renewal will require something like that because they're afraid that they don't want to take their parents inside. Um, just, just to make sure, um, if we say, for example, we need, we need, even for the renewal, we need to have a medical test. Who's getting the medical and who's not getting? I mean, uh, at the end, the decision is from DHA, okay, Dubai Health Authority. So if Dubai Health, Health Authority says with a letter or says, yeah, I mean, of course, Dubai Health Authority, they know exactly who's legal, legal to, uh, eligible to, to take the, the test or not. So if they said, if I think they will ask DHA, and uh, if they said they don't need, and just only they have to provide us an letter, and we'll do it without medical test, even for the new. I'm not talking only the new, even for the new. So they are the one who will decide. Yeah, yeah. because their question was about the renew. renew the renew, period. the renew till now, they can renew without medical. Yeah. But if we ask for the medical, I mean, they are the right place to say that the, the authorities with DHA. Uh, another question, this person um, had um, a work permit expiry fine. They said that that has been waived. Hmm. When they reached uh, Ministry of Human Resources and Emiratization, they said that they were not aware of these directives. Is there an update on that? This um, might have happened before. I, I think, I, think uh, I don't know when, is, when, is, when it happens exactly, but they are updated. For sure they are updated, yeah. And that is the yes, directive? Yes, yes, yes. Right uh, another person said that they actually got an employment freelance entry visa, which expired on 16th of April. Okay. But they weren't able to travel in, uh, to Dubai because of coronavirus. Uh, are they able to travel to Dubai right now after June 1st? After June 1st, it's with a permit. With the permit. Okay. They have to apply through the portal. If they get the approval, they can. But if the visa is expired, I mean, they have to get the, the permit and they have to apply for a visa. So they have to renew that visa. But it's an perm, uh, entry permit or it's a residence visa? It's an entry visa, freelance entry visa. Is the, that yeah, so freelance entry visa depends. It's the entry permit or it's stuck in the passport. Mm -hmm. If it's in the passport, after 1st of March, it's renewed. Either they are inside the country or outside the country. So most probably they can, they can just get the permit if it's approved, they can come to the country, no problem. I mean, this is one of the things also, uh, the, I mean, uh, people who got visit visas before the outbreak of COVID-19, and uh, they couldn't come because of the moment, uh, mm. the fly restrictions. So is their visas will be valid? Till now they are expired. If it's expired on the, on the visa itself, yeah. it's expired. Okay. As I said, uh, we are we are uh, we have uh, more more than one scenario mm -hmm. okay so we are waiting for the order but before i mean the airports will reopen 
of course, we will advise and we'll tell them exactly what to do. Okay. Yeah. Okay. One of the one of the questions, uh, it's readers. They're asking about their working visa. Uh, one of the reader is saying uh, his uh, working visa will expire on September this year. Okay. So he's asking, uh, it will just be extended or need to renew by my company? It's just, it will be st extended, as I said. Okay. It will be extended till the end of the year. But, um, of course, I mean, if, if uh, we have a different order, it will be announced. Okay. The one of the, I think one of the issues that we've been receiving from our readers, it's about uh, people who cancel their visa after March 1st. Okay, we said that those people, I mean, till now, um, of course, the cancellation in the system, there is a fine, but let them apply, okay, for the new visa. Okay. When they are doing the change status, of course, we will see case by case. We'll look, look at it. So because I have a question from a reader, uh, Rajan. He said, uh, he said, just like, uh, they will be fine after 29 days once the visa cancelled? No. Till uh, now, no. Till no. now, no. Yeah. If you want to travel, he's fine. I, he's fine. Yes. But if you want, okay. Um, I mean, we're still getting a lot of question. Uh, we have uh, Yasser Khan. He said, I have a British passport mm -hmm. and I came on visit uh, visa to Dubai. Uh, I am in Dubai, all immigration and Oman borders are closed. Uh, when is so he's asking about also, is my visa still free until the end of the year? Yes. So it's, it's all a, kind of visas are extended till the end of the year. Okay. Just Mr. With, Yasser and without other fine, without, without fine. fine. Yeah. Okay. Who is expired after 1st of March. Okay. Uh, what about uh, residents who are outside the country and uh, their visa got expired after March 1st? It's exactly the same as the, the entry same. permit. So, uh, no, uh, the, the, they are outside the country and They're expired outside, after. Uh, it's, it's extended. Ex it's extended. Extended. Okay. Any kind of visas, I mean, residence visa. I mean, of course, entry permit is not yeah. because it's, yeah. there is no entry on it. But any kind of residence, okay, we have like three kinds of residence. We have uh, investors, we have uh, family visas, and we have a normal uh, yes. employment visa. Yes. If they are expired after 1st of March and they are outside the country, it's extended okay. till the end of the year. Exactly the same as the people who are inside the country. Okay, so because usually it's, it's people, you know, uh, who are spending more than six months outside the country. They no. are worried that their no, visa no, 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 no. will be canceled. It's, it's, it's uh, extended. Even for them, uh, I mean, um, uh, in, this, in this situation or this case, I mean, the six months is not there. The six months rule is not there. Okay. Uh, one of the th one of the also major issues uh, after uh, the restrictions that happened with COVID-19, mm. uh, stranded residents outside the UAE, uh, they've been asking to come back. So we know that the government approved them to return back after June 1st. Yes. But many of them, they just need to know what's the procedure. I mean, they have to apply through the portal. It's ICA.gov.ae. Yes. Okay. So just they have to apply for uh, they call it uh, outside country permit yes okay or entry permit yes. exactly so they will apply and when they get the reply okay approval. that yeah approved the permit is approved yeah. they have to proceed with the ticket with the booking yeah with the booking so please don't do not book till you will get the approval and it's mentioned on a like red box on the okay. on the website over here. okay um uh, I mean, we're receiving a lot, a lot of a question. So, what, what about uh, after December thirty-first this year? Yeah. What people should uh, do? They should go back to their home countries before it, or they uh, renew the visa. No, uh, just my advice. We can say, uh, inshallah, we're gonna like. Uh, I mean, this this COVID nineteen uh, will get over. So my advice is if everything goes fine and goes back for the people to renew their residence as soon as possible. So the question is why? Uh, of course, we know at the end of the year, it's, I mean, uh, it's, it's a holiday. 
So we have, I mean, the Christmas holiday and we have the New Year holiday. So most probably a lot of traffic will be on, even on the flights and even on, on the normal uh, applications or providing, uh, uh, submitting applications. So I advise people if everything goes back, well, to renew their uh, residence yeah, as, yeah. as soon as possible. As, as, I mean, they, they are most welcome mm -hmm. to stay, but it's better for them. It's kind of an advice. So after 31st, of course, again, we are waiting for the order from the government. We, there is no any uh, order or rules till now okay. regarding the, I mean, after uh, the 21st of December. So it's even for, uh, let's say, I, I came here on visit visa and uh, it's expired. Is it better also to get an extension for no. the visa or to get a because new visa? Because some, some kind of visas, we don't have an extension on it. Okay. A lot of them. I okay. mean, maybe all of them, except yes. on arrival visa. Okay. So the Schengen tourist visa, there is no extension on it. Okay. So most probably after uh, opening the airports, uh, there is a period will be there okay. and people should leave before that. So if a person want to, he can apply for a new, a new visa, visit visa? Uh, and yes, inside the country. They yes. can? Yes, they can. I mean, if they wanted to, uh, to stay. Now they don't have to. Now they don't. But if they want to stay after, I mean, Yes. I mean, uh, everything will go get back as normal. Of course, they can apply. Yeah. Uh, okay, we have a question from Komal Yadav. Uh, uh, what about cancelled visa for people who wants to travel to their home countries and are planning to be back to the UAE after three months or something? Uh, they have to apply for uh, a new visa, and that's it. So it's normal? Nothing, yeah. Okay. Um, I mean, well, it's a lot of people asking about uh, the cancelled visa over stay fines. Uh, nothing is there. there, yeah. so there uh, is but, no but to make, I mean, again, again, uh, to be on a safe side, I advise people just to call the call center, 800 5111 but to avoid calling during the peak time. I mean, our peak time starts from 10 a.m. till 2 or 3 p.m. Okay. So this is a very peak time. Okay. So the, the call center is on for 24 7 I mean 24 hours they can call okay. so anytime they can call and just ask the agent that I need to check I cancel I need to check what is the validity okay so systemically they will get the proper answer so they can call our call yes, center 800 yes. 5, 5 one. Triple one. Yeah. again so we have another question from Chandra mm -hmm. uh, my visa will finish on August 6 2020 Hmm. Will it still be auto renewal until January 2021? So it's dissimilar to this one. So the auto renew until 31st of December 2020. Exactly. Okay. Uh, I mean, uh, cancel. I mean, we have Amit. He's asking after visa cancellation, people can stay in the UAE or not? Yes. They can. They can stay. They can. For now, they can stay because. A lot of countries still they didn't open the airport, so we cannot force them to travel. Okay. But they can stay, and again they have to check time by time. They have to call the call center and to check the validity of the uh, cancellation. So because we have this from reader Amit, he's saying that uh, he's saying that his visa will be cancelled on 30th of June this year. Okay. So in that case, can he stay up to 31st of December 2020 after he cancelled his visa? No, of course. He, okay. F till now, yeah. yes. If, but we, if, we don't know if, they if the situation is the same. Yes. But of course, if everything get to normal and get back, we will announce exactly what should this, those people do. Exactly. Okay. Uh, I mean, yeah, it's a lot of readers also they think my visa canceled on March second and he couldn't fly to the to his home country. So there is no fine on it. Yeah. Yeah. There are also a few questions about bans. People said that if they leave the country without paying their fines, which have been waived, will there be a ban on them? No. As, as announced, nothing will be there. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I mean, uh, it's, it's mainly, most of the questions is talking about the people who, how to get the approval to go back to the country. I think there is uh, what you call a lot of requests now. Mm. So it will take time. For, uh, I mean, you mean to the come ICA, back? Yes. Yeah, to come to come back. Yes, uh, they have to apply, and I can say for now they have to just wait for the approval. 
And again, um, uh, we, are, we are looking uh, through those uh, applications, of course, and uh, people, they have to wait. And uh, most probably, uh, we know that a lot, there is a lot of situations are uh, like uh, humanity, like people are, uh, they, need, they need to travel back to the country. But still, we can say just wait for it. And inshallah, we are, uh, they'll get like the respond more, I mean, uh, faster than before. Okay, so because, I mean, yeah, it's similar. Uh, we have uh, also Deep, Deepan, he's saying that uh, the employer canceled uh, the visa, he lost the job, so, uh, and there is no reputation flight, no return flight to his country yet. You so are what fine, about the part. visa fine? Because a lot no, of no. people worried about the visa fine, no, no, you know? No, no, you are fine, and there is no any fine on yeah. uh, I mean, yeah, it's, it's most of the questions been repeating the same. Uh, okay, uh, one of the readers is saying his partner visa has expired. Hmm. Outside uh, the country? So, no, we, he, it's not mentioned. So, can I go out of Dubai to his country and return back to Dubai? I mean... Uh, Just going out to Dubai is fine. Okay. Uh, but uh, coming back is, again, you have to apply for a permit. Okay. Entry permit. So, <clears throat> similar to that, we have another question. Uh, uh, people asking if they need to renew their visa this month. One of the readers is saying that he will travel on July for vacation. I mean, I think he's hoping that the movement restriction... We hope. All of <laughs> yeah. us will help. Hope so, yeah, so he's saying, uh, is it possible for me to come back after my vacation? Uh, Again, we can say for yeah. everyone. Uh, of course, you are most welcome to come back. But again, we have a system. You have to apply. And you have, if you get the uh, reply or it's approved, you can come back. So for now, um, there is no any uh, order to uh, to have like to start the vacation for the people who, who wants to go back and come back. Okay, uh, we have another question from one of the readers. Uh, his name Pudai. He said, "I'm a resident uh, visa holder, Emirat, a UAE re a visa holder, and he is currently outside the UAE. Hmm. Uh, his mom on his sponsorship, and his mom in the UAE now." Okay. So her visa expired last week. He's, he's asking if he can renew his mom visa while he's outside the UAE and while she is inside the UAE. You don't his, have to renew her. You renew her now. Of course, he can do it. I mean, he's stuck outside the country. Yeah, his mom uh, because, because of sometimes they will ask for his ID and sometimes they will ask, like, you know, some requirements are there. Mm -hmm. But just to make sure and uh, just to, to clarify that, that your mom is not overstayed and yeah. her visa is renewed till the end of the year. Okay. So when inshallah he will come back, he can proceed uh, the visa renewal for So his this mom. is a comfortable message uh, to him? Exactly. That, yes. And everyone. And everyone. Just, just, just uh, to say that okay. either if you are inside the country mm -hmm. or outside the country, or if you are inside the country and your family are outside the country, mm -hmm. just be comfortable. Your visa and their visa is renewed till the end of the year. Yes. So, uh, I mean, uh, don't worry. Uh, at the end, uh, of course, we are looking in all cases, mm -hmm. and we know what's happening in the world. We are, we are following the cases, and we are trying to uh, make life more easy for the people. Like, it's, okay. it's not just only, just yes. only to, uh, it's a message to, to make it clear. If you are inside the country or outside the country, your visa is extended till the end of December. Okay, so people just like need to be relaxed for yes, this issue. Yes, exactly. Yeah, I know you guys are receiving a lot of calls about it. Yeah. So we have another uh, question from Sean Nassim, uh, talking about the newborn visa. Any Outside extension the... to apply apart from the 120 days? Uh, it's, it's already, uh, I mean, extended. Okay. Just to make sure. Uh, of course, they are most welcome to stick the residence. Okay. Okay. But if they are outside the country, uh, we, they can apply for a normal uh, visa. But if they are inside the country and they exceed the 120 days, mm -hmm. of course, they can apply. But if, if they didn't till, yet, till now, they can apply for a visa, a okay. normal visa. It's, it's fine. normal. Yeah. So another question uh, from a reader is, my visa expired on 
will be expired on June 4th this year. And his company will cancel uh, his visa next week. He will be able to get the visa extension till December 2020? Yes. Okay. So it's the same? It's the same. Uh, just I think I think it's, it's better. most of the questions now is talking about this. No, I think I think it's better just yeah uh, to uh, to clarify and make it more clear, because I know a lot of people like maybe they joined us now. Yes, <laughs> and yes. They are most yeah, 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 yeah. I mean I'm fine. I don't have anything uh, after this. No, we uh, appreciate tribute. your time. So I mean, <laughs> but yes. just to make it more clear, um, just I I will mention them. As I said, the families who are, or the visas who are inside the country, and they are expired, after 1st of March, they are extended till the end of the year. If the cancellation, if after, it's after March, I mean 1st of March, it's extended till the end of the year. The same, it goes to the, to the people who are outside the country. If the visa is expired till the end of March, after, after, uh, after 1st of March, it's extended. But people who canceled, they are, while they are outside the country because of the visas expired, that one they have to reapply the visa, which is outside the country only. Again, uh, all kind of visas inside the country are extended till the end of the year. Um, some, some, I mean, a lot of questions we are receiving, as you said, even Mr. Ali, like uh, the family are inside the country or outside the country or the sponsors outside the country, and what can I do with my family? Don't, don't worry, your family visa is extended till the end of the year. Um, people who are on visit visa in UAE, after 1st of March, they are all extended till the end of the year. Um, I have, I have a, I mean, if we have any questions or I need, I, need, I, I have a message. Yes, please, <laughs> okay. yes, please. Please, because I think most of the questions is repeating on the yeah, same. Exactly, uh, so that's why I reply that yes. and just to answer those questions. Yes. Um, just it's a message from GDRFA Dubai. Again, um, you are most welcome to visit us, but still because of the situation, I mean in UAE and in Dubai and in the world, the whole world, uh, today um, we are limiting the, the visitation, I mean the, the visit to the head office exactly, except for I mean, critical cases. What I mean by critical cases, you have a problem with the system, you have a problem with the, your uh, visa, you can just visit us. But if you need to stick the residence in your passport, or you need to hold your family, you have to visit our outside sections, which is uh, Al Manara, Al Tawar, and uh, the airport free zone, and Hatta. Maybe I didn't mention Hatta Center. So we have, we have those centers to visit and to do uh, the normal process that it needs a visit. Again, a very important uh, people, VIP, v VIP people. We forgot to mention them. I mean, uh, the elder people. I mean, yeah, this is one of the things. I yeah. just like I wanted to conclude my whole <laughs> yes. interview with you. It's uh, for elderly people. We're talking yeah. about the locals and the elderly uh, residents. residents. Because I think you guys have something special for them. Yes. Yes. Um, just you have to call 800 5 uh, even if it is a very normal service, please, please, please do not visit the center. It's for your health. As the order of the Ministry of Health and DHA, it says you people are um, like, uh, it's a very dangerous, d dangerous environment to just go to any uh, places such as government or even normal places. So please uh, stay safe at your home, uh, call our call center, 805-111. Just uh, mention your name, uh, your uh, case exactly, what you have. Uh, our team will just visit you and provide the service while you are at home. Just we'll do the application for you. If they are residents, if they are local, we are going to do whatever service you like, I mean, or you need from GDRFA. Uh, at the end, I mean, your safety is how our happiness, I can call it. Yes. It's just Dubai police, I think, yes. but it's, except it's, it's, it's like those, those range of uh, ages over 60s, yes. as everyone knows, it's very dangerous as, uh, for, them. for them to... Uh, to just like to go outside. And to go outside. Yeah, yeah. So stay safe 
and we will provide you the service at your home. Thank you. I think that uh, concludes everything. Thank you, Major Salem, for all welcome. the details. And uh, well, let's hope, uh, just like maybe we'll get more interviews. Inshallah. But, uh, thank you for all your answers. And uh, it's a big thank from Gulf News readers to you also for the, all, all the answers. Uh, the, I mean, it's a, it's a big thank to you people who are clear, I mean, uh, giving, I mean, the right answers or the right way to give uh, the information to your readers. Uh, we are sorry if maybe we didn't answer all questions, but I mean, still I can say, uh, get the information from the official channels. media channels. Yes. Yes. So of course, Gulf News is one of the official yes. media channels, yes. but get the information. Don't listen to people from outside. Don't listen to those um, messages that you are receiving through uh, your phone. Yes. Whatever uh, you like to clarify, it's through the official media channels and through our official uh, channels in GDRFA. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you, Major Sal. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.